Nicole Harper with Creating Keepsakes Magazine and I'd like to show you three ways to add neater handwritten journaling to your layouts. So many people are afraid to use their handwriting on their layouts, but for future generations, they're going to want to see a little piece of you on your pages. So starting with our first example, here we kept it very simple and by limiting the width of our journaling block here, it kind of eliminates the, the fear or the tendency to have your handwriting slant. It kind of helps you keep, keep it a little bit straight. And then also up here with the title, we just wrote individual letters and cut them out for our title. So that was kind of a neat way to add your own journaling. Then in our next example, <clears throat> I started with uh, the graph tag here and I used the lines in the graph with the ruler to I have a place for my journaling to go. I started out here and then just extended it down below. And then you can even see here on this tag, I just added my own journaling on there too. Even if it's just a little bit, it's good to add your own touch to the page. Then in our third example, here, once you get a little braver, you start out with the journaling lines. You can see they're only drawn you know, random lengths here. And then the journaling extends beyond the lines, which is fine. And that kind of adds more of, uh, it's, it's a little less formal and a little more quirky, which I really like. So those are three different ways to add your own handwriting, make it a little bit neater, and make you a little less afraid to put your personal touch on a page. <laughs>